Hello everybody, it's Chibi, and today I'm going to be doing an anime review on Maji Moji Rurumo. Now, everybody, this episode, for the most part, it dives us into the personality of Rurumo, and we get to see exactly how she would handle an entire situation by herself. Now, with this episode, it makes me wonder and question how did she manage to stay alive through her entire life up to this point? Because in this episode, it shows you that Rurumo should not be left alone, because she wanders off, can't find directions, and she thinks a postal ticket is a train ticket in this episode, and then she gets into trouble to where you have, like, a fucking tree growing on her hat and clothes, so I am just curious how she managed to stay alive through the course of this entire series. For instance, how did she stay alive before she met our main male character? Because for her to get in this type of trouble, it's had to have happened before. Now, the comedy in this episode it's good. I like the comedy. This type of comedy in this episode usually isn't my favorite type of comedy, but I did enjoy it. What this episode, like I said, really tried to do was flesh out Rurumo's character, get to see how she would handle things, and I feel like this was a good time to really show more of her personality. Now, in this episode, you really get some nice good foreshadowing and key signal signs that Rurumo is starting to fall in love with our main male character, because you see right at the end, she's blushing every time she's around him. She won't, you know, touch his because she doesn't want to hold hands, and she seems to be very shy around him when, you know, he pats her head. So right here, it clearly shows that Rurumo is starting to develop feelings for our main male character, and it might eventually lead into some complications with the magical world, since we don't technically know what would happen if a witch or a wizard or whoever fell in love with a human, because I'm willing to bet there is some form of laws against that. And this brings to question a lot of things, okay? Let's say Rurumo does fall in love with our main male character, which it's going to be obvious, because they're already showing signs like that, so she's going to fall in love with him. And so, I'm willing to bet there's going to be some type of punishment against her or him, because, you know, technically she is a witch in training, and she's trying to take his life and make him use all her magic, and so, in turn, that could cause it to where she could fail the test, if I'm correct. So, I don't know how they're going to go about that, but that's just me fury crafting at the moment. Now, the animation of the episode, for the most part, it was a lot better than previous episodes. There wasn't actually so much derping going on. Like, there was a couple scenes in the previous episodes where there was, like, one or two faces that were derpy. But besides that, this episode seemed, for the most part, to be really good, so I can't complain there. Music, once again, I really enjoyed that soundtrack because it really just it uplifts those feels and it gives you that happy freaking comedy feel that you get when you watch an anime. So, personally, after watching this episode, the episode, for the most part, is enjoyable. It's definitely not the best thing I'm probably going to see from today of anime, and it's probably definitely not the best comedy of this season, but it is an enjoyable watch. And I did enjoy watching it, so yeah, that's all I ask when I watch these type of anime. So really, I think I'm satisfied. So everybody, tell me your thoughts about this episode. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? What was your favorite moments about it? I love all of you so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.